if you know who you are, then you know who you are not. Do not be branded as, and just always fight the battle of being disabled. Fight the battle of putting yourself in a very good place. You know? Sometimes people just look at you in the mall and you feel like those people are judging me because I'm disabled. But if you know who you are, then you know who you are not. I am not disabled. I am differently abled. The moment I switched my mind and I started believing who I am, I found life got easier and I just loved what I was doing. I come from humble beginnings, raised by grandparents um, who taught me the skill. An eagle flies high and the eagle definitely fly above the storms and basically it is my life story. That day was a little bit weird in the day because my accident was close to midnight. I, at the time I was working in a restaurant and uh, we really had a long day. I think the past few days was so, so busy. It was towards month end or it was month end. Most of the guys had bikes. Um, let us drive to a certain place and chill and maybe have a few drinks before you go home. On our way to the place, um, you know, just out of the blue, there's a random bike which was not amongst us. We just came from a different direction. It drove through me, it was an intersection. So we're driving through green lights, but it came down the road and there was red lights. Crow jumped over the red lights um, straight on me and that's how I ended up losing my leg on that, on that scene, on the accident. I was behind somebody in a bike, I was a passenger, so I could, did not have control. Um, I think I was in coma first, so when I got out of coma I was so confused why I'm even in hospital. Lots of get well soon cards all around, you know, and my leg was really, really damaged. It was just there so that when I get out of coma, I see it first, and it was just covered in bandages. But it was starting to rot and then causing gangrene, which was gonna spread. I thought it was a dream, but this dream, you know, sometimes this dream needs to end, you know, and it's really taking long and I don't like to be in the stream. And when they told me that they need to amputate me, you know, I really felt... It was almost like the world is crashing. I had lots of um, dreams. I had hopes that very soon I'm gonna get a breakthrough. I wanted to work hard on myself, you know, and I knew that if I don't have a leg anymore, I don't think life is going to be easy. They told me that, you know what, if you delay longer, this is going to spread in throughout your body and once it gets to your heart, you are dead. I did not want to accept it. I did not want to accept it. I decided the best thing for me to do right now would be to commit suicide because I can't handle this. So the moment I was always miserable and sitting at home thinking that I'm disabled, you know, things are not working. It was only getting worse. Then one day I realized, I woke up and I said, you know what, I am not disabled. I am differently abled. So I'm still the same person, but now I'm abled in a different way. I may be slow, but I'll finish the race. That was just a way of trying to make myself feel better that, you know, 
I don't have a leg, so what? Then I created that phrase, that phrase with a t-shirt like this, who needs a leg? Let's actually stands for live every day to the end. After first selling most lots of my t-shirts and I bought myself off cuts of leather. When I stitch those bags, uh, when I'm doing working, it is my way of rehab. Oh. Yes. I always say I stitch my, my life back when I was heading for a very miserable time. So when I put two pieces together, you know, to create a beautiful bag, to me it was putting a broken me, a disabled me, this me, this that, and I'm stitching it together to produce something unique, something amazing. I never ever thought that my life would end up in this uh, where I am today. Um, this has been results of hard work, persistence, perseverance, and faith. As a disabled person or a differently able person, um, I also started from what everyone says is nothing, but I say it was the start of the race. I refused to be a spectator in life. I also encourage all differently able people who think life is hard. You are created in God's image. The way you are, it means that God is also like you. I encourage you to do dust, stand up. If you have fallen, stand up, dust yourself. Some of us have fallen and realized that we've lost legs. We still stood up, we dusted ourselves because if you can still see the stars, then it simply means that you can still get up.